Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your March 2021 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All right, Scorpio, your reading kind of threw me for a loop. Uh, let's jump into it. All right. So, um, oh, Jesus, I'm getting so much stuff. Okay, 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 I got it, I got it. Um, so Scorpio, in love and romance, it looks as if, okay, so let's just get what is already there out on the table. Um, there could be somebody dating more than one person. There could be someone who is trying to manifest and man and maintain more than one relationship with a person, with two people. I'm not sure if these two people know about each other. They might. Um, there's some energy here that feels as if they they want to... Right now, at this point in their life, they want to maintain more than one relationship. Two people. This is what they are working towards. This is what they're trying to get maybe both parties on board about. Um... They may be finding it that it's, it's hard work to get maybe the feminine energy, the main female, to be accepting to this. There also could be, all right, this is so, this is so convoluted. Okay, just take it, I'm going to take it as slow as possible. There's an energy here, too, where someone is saying that uh, they like men and women. It feels like it's a feminine energy who wants to have another woman in, in the relationship, in the bedroom. And then there's a masculine energy who, who wants two separate relationships that he wants to actively maintain. This this person feels like they have the power with the red, the intellect with the yellow, and the green around the, the two pentacles. They have the power, the intellect to grow both of these relationships, even in the midst of turbulence, even in the midst of um, maybe someone not wanting to do this, maybe both parties not being on board. They feel like this can work. Somebody feels like this can work. Could be dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Leo coming up. Someone feels as if they are the king of the castle. They don't have a lot of feelings about this. This is gray back here. Uh, they just know that they can balance this out and they have the, they have a balance. The King of Cups is about emotional balance. They feel like they can balance this out. And look, he has two chalices. He's, he's actively telling you that this is the king that keeps a lot of energy around uh, to feed the ego. Whether he is, you know, having sex with actively partaking in you know, sexual activity or conversation with these people. There are a lot of energies, feminine and men around this person who feeds the ego and he needs this. Um, and he can balance it all out. This is also a man who is committed in a relationship, uh, could be spiritual, uh, could be concerned about money, uh, and business, um, acumen and you know aspirations but he is also um one who keeps exes around
could be dealing with a Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a main female here and then a privileged female. So this would be the married female, the one who has the title, the ring, the public acknowledgement, and then this would be the other woman. Okay. We have a man here who feels as if, once again, business acumen and money and prestige, charisma, wherewithal, know-it-all, I don't know. He feels like he can have what he wants. He feels like he's built himself up to a place where this is what he wants and this is, this is it. And he's not going to take a no for an answer and he needs for some energies that he is dealing with to get on board. It looks as if there's a woman here who tried very hard to suppress some sexual desires. And it could be for the same sex or vice versa. It could be that there's a man here who tried to suppress desires for the same sex. Um, Whatever it may be, this person doesn't want to give up either or. They don't want to give up the woman or the man in their life. They want both. So when, it looks like they, they tried to tame their sexual desire. Or someone thought they could try to tame somebody. Um by way of their, you know, their intimate nature with them and how comfortable and safe and vulnerable they felt. But this is a person who has this, a, what is that word? Um, satious or cessatious desire or someone who has a very... Some people will use the word perverted, but I don't like to, I don't want to say that. This is just a person who has a very unique desire in terms of sex, love, and romance. This is a person who has a plural desire for, in terms of love and romance. They don't just want to love one person and give their all to one person. They also, this person also is kind of exerting their willpower, their, their desires, their, their willpower over the relationship. This is what they want and this is what they want and this is what they want. And that is all, um, they're going to try to take control of this relationship and or marriage and move it in the direction that they want it to go in. I don't know if they're going to take these people with them if someone doesn't get on board, but this is, this is what somebody wants is clear. And maybe they thought that they could tame. Look, we got the strength card eight. Then we have the strength card again, eight. And then we have a false person, which is an eight. So someone was wearing a false mask here. Someone thought that they could tame their desires, their sexual desires, their very intimate secrets and or, and or, and or desires. But they can't. They were wearing a false mask in this marriage. This person wants one or more lovers in their home life in their world, in their environment. And that's just it. Nothing more and nothing less.
that could be you that could be somebody else scorpio i don't know it it looks as if this is a strong will of someone and this is what they want and they're not up for compromise okay now career and finance it looks as if someone doesn't want to be in this relationship anymore okay so so there could be a divorce happening it, the divorce could be happening because maybe there is or was a third party and somebody just was not giving that up or it just they just could it couldn't work out it's not working out and so we have someone here who is making decisions for their best interest, um, to maybe to start anew and go solo, to be single. This could be you, Scorpio. This could be the other person. Someone could be feeling as if they need to go, I heard, back to child support court to get more money because someone feels as if someone's being deceptive or dishonest and they need to go and get some adjudication in terms of money and money's old or in terms of hidden things and trickery they just want to communicate to a third party hence the three and the zero turns into three one two three they want to communicate to the third party the threes talk about communication and thinking mind so they want to communicate to the third party that they feel like deception is happening. Okay. And then there'll be somebody communicating to the third party that deception has happened in this marriage, in this relationship, maybe even in this business relationship. We need someone to mediate what will happen next. So that's what's happening in career and finance. It looks as if uh, you guys come to some compromise in terms of the, the married woman, in terms of the, the privileged lady. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. There's a feminine and masculine energy here and uh, they're going to try to marry the two and compromise well i can do this and do that well i'll do this if you do that someone feels as if someone is very childish or there was childlike behavior exuded in this relationship someone could have taken on a whole nother love affair in this relationship uh there was a lot of drama or someone was creating or is creating a lot of drama hence we needed a third party to figure this out I'm hearing um, to even, you know, figure out scheduling or schedules or, you know, schedules of the child or child care or like child rearing or parenting or passing off the kid to the other parent. I don't know what's going on here, but someone needed someone to step in and communicate of how to how that would go. So if I have to say in my, by way of the cards, it looks as if maybe the, the woman here gets what she wants in terms of compromise and um, coming to some salvaging the relationship, coming to some agreement or agreeing to disagree. Someone has just come and came to the determination that they want more than one lover. Maybe they don't want to be married anymore or they, they would stay married, but the partner has to know that this is what's going on. They aren't giving up, you know, other activity, extramarital activity. Um, and then there could be somebody saying, I don't want to deal with that. I'm not going to deal with it. Okay. Um, Scorpio, you could be going to court in terms of maybe a business partnership 
trying to, you know, get some mediation, um, some resolution in terms of contracts and legal documents. Right, someone's come to some realization and or epiphany. Can you see that? Yeah, realization or epiphany. Um, that this is the life they want to lead. Whatever that means for the Scorpio or for the other person. Yeah, heavenly signs is showing someone that this is, this is what it is. Okay, um, that maybe... This is what's happening. You could be getting signs of, you know, numerology. You can be getting, um, you know, uh, feathers and birds and coins and anything. Some family changes happen. This could talk about divorce, separation, moving in, out of, in or out of a home, purchasing a home, divorce. Did I mention that? Buying a car, anything that really effects of family um going to family court trying to get some adjudication in terms of how to deal with the children okay this just flipped out whatever this is they want you to keep the faith scorpio okay last one for scorpio sobriety yeah with the temperance card maybe someone is taking two drugs and alcohol or the bottle just a bit too much. Um, someone may be saying that they are sober now or someone needs to enter sober living, sober home. Someone is drinking way too much. They can't cope. They can't handle. Yeah. Scorpio, um, I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. You can text a question maybe you have about for the tarot. You can text your question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. It just makes me more accessible to you and you accessible to me. So take advantage of that. But if you want a full reading like this one, you need to go to the website and book your reading there. I have phone readings and video recorded readings. So make sure you know what you are booking. If you have a question, just drop down in that live chat and um, we can get that all squared away for you. Okay. Then I say open relationship. There's another woman here, that brunette female. She's a bitch. Could it be a friend or someone wants a friend within the connection? Somebody is trying to masquerade as if they're just a friend, but it's more than that. Uh, maybe the gift of being single will be granted to you. I don't know. Someone definitely wanted control. Okay, Scorpio, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.